SMB Nation back with Marvin B. out of the uh, South Florida area. Marvin, before we get going, I was uh, looking at the, the weather patterns. Uh, seems like it's pretty hot down there right now. Is that an understatement? Well, it's supposed to be hot. Today it is, well, let's just say it's rather warm but rainy. So it's not a normal South Florida day. Okay. Um, hey, uh, you you keep a really good pulse on the industry, and I want to talk about events in the second half of 2021. Uh, you, you caught an announcement the other day from Rob Ray. Let's start with that. What What's going on with events? So, yeah, so we have been hearing that DattleCon was going to happen, but there was a little mystery about where it was going to happen. And late Friday, Rob Ray had gone ahead and put out the announcement that not only was DattleCon on, but it was going to be in Seattle. And the dates for that are October 11th through the 13th of this year. Oh, at it's the, in Seattle. Okay. Yes, Seattle at the Washington okay. State Convention Center. Okay, thanks for correcting me because in our rehearsal, I went and peeked and maybe I was looking at an old installation that O'Connor at said uh, Atlanta, Georgia. So that is actually very helpful that you've cleared that up. And um, what are the dates on that again, my friend? October 11th. Actually, yeah, October 11th through the 13th. Making a note. Okay, cool. I'll uh, call Alaska Airlines as soon as we get off the phone. <laughs> All right. So. Now, here's the interesting thing. So they are making this a hybrid event so that you can attend virtually or you can obviously attend in person. And I think that's the way that events are probably going to be for another year. We are still, even though the world is opening, there are people that, you know, are still feeling a little apprehensive, even though a lot of us have gotten the vaccine. You know, I trust my vaccine, but yeah. I don't trust other people, whether they got it, <laughs> even if they said they did. So I, I think, you know, we're going to be in that period where we need to allow for both. We want to obviously, you know, meet in person and see each other. But for people that are not comfortable, still provide a way for them to attend virtually. Yeah. Yeah, I, I tend to agree. I think work is going to be hybrid. I think events will be hybrid. And quite frankly, I, I like it. Um, back in my past life, you know, as a SMB MSP analyst, and I, I'm still I'm still there, but um, Marvin, I, I, I just got into, I'm going to call it almost an unhealthy place for many years of traveling all the time, right? And I've used the pandemic to kind of look in the mirror and just, what why was I doing that? Why was I gone all the time? And it's it's a it, it it's, takes a lot of energy and and time. Probably more importantly, the time, right? To to get all the way out to uh, the conference and I went to for um, a Cronus. Uh, I told you about that a couple of years ago down in uh, Miami Beach. That that's a lot of travel to get out there, right? You're losing a day yep. each one. <laughs> Yeah, I think in general, that's the thing. Because even virtual events over the last 18 months, I actually got to the point where I just stopped attending virtual events because even those, I'm not going to say that they were a time suck, but the fact that everybody was having an event, everybody was having a Facebook Live, everybody was adding a podcast, and there's only so many hours in the day. And the bottom line is most of us still have to work and earn money. So I had to, you know, cut back on those as well. And when we open back up and start attending conferences in person, I'll probably do what I did before, where I'll try to keep it to one or quarter, or maybe maybe even only twice a year, just because, you know, we, I got to the point now, you know, being home, spending more time with family, that's just important as making the money. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it is. I've I've changed my ways. Um, what are you hearing about other events? You're, again, tapped in. Lori Tassini uh, does her event. You mentioned another one that uh, is, is, is happening. What are you hearing? Yeah, I've not seen a lot of definitive plans on others. Now, there is one that I was involved in in the past. Uh, I'm not on the planning committee, but TechCon Unplugged, which is happening in Chicago, is also happening this this fall, and that'll be an in-person event, and that is in September. Uh, I believe it's the 16th through the 18th. So for people and that where want is to, that? is that in Chicago again? Yeah, it's out of Chicago. It's uh, at a hotel called the Aloft Hotels, just outside of the airport in O'Hare. The website for that is TechCon Unplugged. 
and that's T-E-C-H-C-O-N, unplugged.com, okay. and you'll get all the information there. Okay, great. And I, yeah, again, I, uh, I, I, I try to monitor as best I can uh, these various uh, MSP groups. Um, I'm assuming Lori will come back. That was typically a spring conference. I haven't heard one way or the other, but I know she likes doing those. Yep. And um, I'm sure some others will pop up uh, along the way. But, you know, it's it's nice to have the options again. Um, and I'm, I'm a little bit like you. I'm going to, you know, instead of traveling weekly, I, I don't think I can go back to that lifestyle, but maybe um, one a month uh, for what I do as an analyst and blogger. That that would probably make sense <laughs> that I can get some real work done. <laughs> All right. Well, you, All right. you are a busy man. There we go. All right, Marvin. And where can people find out more about you with your podcast? Give yourself a shout out. So podnutspro.com. And for those that have not heard the show, that is podnuts spelled with a Z, P-O-D-N-U-T-Z-P-R-O.com. All right. All right. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks, All Marvin. Right, Harry. Thanks.